Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be talking about the FreeTube app. So, FreeTube is an app that lets you watch um, YouTube videos. The primary benefit of using this is that you won't have to watch ads on the actual YouTube website. And before I go further, if you decide to use this app, just keep in mind that especially if you're supporting, if you're watching smaller channels, especially if they're FOSS related or even politics, since they get demonetized, you definitely want to consider um, either supporting those channels on Patreon or LibraPay or whatever they use, because by using this and avoiding the ads, you're giving them you know, no money essentially by not watching their ads. So just keep that in mind when you're using this app. Um, if you've ever considered donating to any of your favorite smaller channels, especially watching this app, you definitely want to consider it even more. So with that out of the way, I'm actually going to load the app itself and just kind of give you a, a brief overview here. So let me just go to the, let's say the most popular. So this is the client and this app got it as a flat pack. Those of you that are familiar with that. And so I'm running this on Linux, Manjaro GNOME here, but it also looks like it's available for Windows, Mac, Ubuntu with a dev file. RPM, but if you don't use any of these distros, if you have something like Manjaro, you can find it as an app image or the Flat Hub repository. And so it's easily available on the GNOME Software Center if you have flat packs enabled. And it's pretty simple. You can subscribe to channels. So here are the channels I'm subscribed to. A brief list here. You can click on them and it'll load just the videos from this channel, or if you want to an overview or a timeline of all your subscriptions you go to your subscriptions and obviously you can browse the most popular trending favorites history and if you go to the settings you can tweak a few things you can enable the dark theme which looks nice however the dark theme is not permanent so if you close this and then reopen the app it won't load the dark mode so could use improvement but that really is the only thing missing previously when i used this app before it was only able to load videos in 720p but now you can actually load youtube videos up to 4k which is pretty cool I think that was like the really final pit, the final major piece missing from making this app usable because sometimes, you know, you want to take advantage of your 4K TV or 1080p display and, and watch the videos in the same quality you could get on the actual YouTube site. Obviously, there's other settings, distraction free mode, um, remember history, autoplay videos, and I guess you can change um, some of these things here. You're more of an advanced user. And so other than that, that's pretty much it. This, in terms of the app here, it is pretty simple and it doesn't need much else, you know, besides the, the dark theme issue. I think that's really the only thing that will make this app 100% fully functional and won't really need anything else. With that said though, the creator does have LibraPay and, and they only really need enough to kind of keep the cost of running FreeTube. Like the person that's making this apparently doesn't want to work on the app full time. And, and honestly, I don't think it's necessary anyway. The person making this, you know, works on this app during their free time. And obviously you can read about their mission, which is pretty simple. Privacy policy, obviously they use nvideo.us to perform API calls. And I, at first I thought live streams didn't work, but they do. So I watched this live stream. But one issue I did notice is that you couldn't comment on the video while the live stream was going on. That may be the main issue or another main issue there. You can watch these videos. You won't be tracked by YouTube. Essentially, you're watching vid uh, YouTube anonymously. So that's another added benefit if you don't want YouTube kind of knowing what you're watching. If you want to avoid the YouTube recommendation algorithm and get rid of all that clutter, all those ads. The only downside is 
if you like commenting on videos for whatever video you're watching, you won't be able to comment, so you'll actually have to go on the original YouTube site and you know log into your account and, and comment on a video. So that's really the only downside to using this app. But other than that, you guys should check out this free tube player. I think it will make your life a lot easier, but just keep in mind when you're using this app to support or consider even more supporting the creators that you're watching, especially if they're smaller, especially if they're politics because they're getting demonetized. If you like this video, you can uh, subscribe to me. You can, on I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Mastodon. You can support me on Patreon, LibraPay, and I will see you guys next time.